I am Dr. Saeed Amman Akshawani, and this message is brought to you by the Mohsin and Fawziya Ja'far Foundation. Why is praying five times a day in Islam obligatory? This is a question that is asked by many non-Muslims, especially when they've traveled to Muslim-majority countries. They may hear the call to prayer, the Adhan, and when they hear it five times a day, some of them react by saying, what is the need? Why can a person not just wake up at any moment, for example, and pray to the Lord, cup their hands together, supplicate to the Lord? Why is Islam adamant that there are these five prayers a day? Well, on the first level, you'll find that every religion in one way or the other teaches the importance of prayer. So you will not find anyone who will deny the importance of prayer. There are many out there who will accept that prayer is one of the most humbling acts that one may perform. And it's that type of humility that is needed throughout the day. We as human beings in Arabic are known as insan, and that comes from nisyan. We're forgetful. We forget the bounties around us. We forget how to respect those around us. And sometimes when a person is reminded of all the bounties around them and reminded of the respect they show the Lord's creation, it can come in different ways. It can either come from your friends reminding you, but it also can come from the prayer mat. It can come from the visit to the church or to the synagogue or to other places of worship. Therefore, you find that when Islam said five times a day of prayer is obligatory, Islam wanted to stress on a key principle. Don't let your Lord revolve around your day let your day revolve around your Lord. There are some people who will let their Lord revolve around their day. You know what? When I want to remember God, I'll remember God. If I don't really feel like remembering God today, then I won't remember God. That in some cases can produce a certain arrogance in our behavior. How many of you have seen at work, extremely arrogant, get back home very soft with their families? No. If a person recognizes by placing their head, for example, in prostration five times a day, their real position where they really came from, and where they're about to return at any second, all of us go back to the six feet under, then we'll act differently with those around us. Therefore, the first aim of why a Muslim prays five times a day is that it builds within them a sense of humility. And that humility becomes an energy that is passed around those in their vicinity. Second reason, gratitude. There is a need for us also to be grateful for what we have. And sometimes, if you leave it to us to be thankful, we may forget. But when the Lord asks you five times a day, come together and show that gratitude. And if you even show that gratitude, I'll keep giving you more. When you pray five times a day, as an example, you'll see that many Muslims will wake up in the middle of the night for what's known as the Fajr prayer or Salat al-Subh or the morning prayer. Why? Why would you wake up, let's say, on a cold winter's November night, you'll wake up and when you're waking up, you know that you were resting in your sleep. But for what reason do you wake up at that time? You could have easily just prayed it after having breakfast. But there are some who'll wake up in the middle of the night to be grateful that they're on a bed a soft mattress, shelter, warm. They've got the heating around them. Sometimes if the human being forgets that gratefulness, they can destroy what's around them. But when the human being wakes up and is grateful, that gratefulness is an energy that is passed on everywhere. So you have on the first level, humility. On the second level, gratefulness. On the third level, discipline. These five times a day, you've got to pray them on time. Yes, you've got the leeway that you may pray them a little bit later, but the reward is not the same. And who likes a human being who lacks discipline? There are many of us who cannot stand those who are ill-disciplined. A person who's ill-disciplined is someone who's not always the most successful, who people don't always revere or respect. But that discipline that you know that that time I've got a meeting, not with the creation, but with the creator. Not with the one whose sustenance may come towards me, but with the one who controls all sustenance. Then that discipline is a discipline that can build in other areas of our life. Don't we just hate it when someone is late for an appointment, late for an interview, late for a meeting, late for a dinner, five times a day can help build that discipline as well. There are many other benefits, and I'm sure science will show us more on a physical level very, very soon. When we cup our hands, there must be a physical benefit. When we bow, there must be a physical benefit. When we prostrate, there must be a physical benefit. Some may refer to the world of yoga, and they want to get into certain positions. We have the world of salat, five times a day of prayer. Thank you for listening to this weekly broadcast. 
We invite your feedback to continue this dialogue.